Hello, my name is Pastor Mike, and I serve at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Elizabeth, Illinois. This is episode 20, and it's titled, A New Beginning. Thirteen years after Ishmael is born, the Lord appeared to Abram and told him to live out his life trusting and believing and responding to God with faith so that he and the nations will be blessed. So Abram immediately fell on his face before God. And this act of humility pleased the Lord. Our text for today is Genesis chapter 17, verses 1 through 14. Abraham and the Covenant of Circumcision. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, that I may make my covenant between me and you and may multiply you greatly. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, Behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be called Abraham, for I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you the land of your sojournings all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you, throughout their generations. This is my covenant, which you shall keep, between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you, shall be circumcised. You shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Every male throughout your generations, whether born in your house or bought with your money from any foreigner who is not of your offspring, both he who is born in your house and he who is bought with your money shall surely be circumcised. So shall my covenant be in your flesh an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. So far, the text. When God appeared before Abraham and told him to live out his life in a way that was pleasing to God, in other words, trust, believe, and respond to God with faith. Abram fell on his face before God. This act of humility pleased the Lord. So on that day, God sealed his previous covenant with Abram. He gave him a new name, Abraham, meaning father of many nations. You could see this is definitely a new beginning and promised that God would abundantly bless Abraham 
and his offspring forever. Then God directed Abraham to mark himself and all of his male offspring with the rite of circumcision. This outward sign showed that the person was a child of the Almighty God and would then be able to receive abundant blessings from God forever. However, the males who were not circumcised, then they were not a part of the family of God. They would actually be cut off from God and his blessings forever. The sign of circumcision is like all signs. They point to something. And in this case, the sign of circumcision points to something that is much greater. Because now that God has already sent his son, Jesus, to rescue us and save us from our sin and death, through his sacrifice and resurrection. Now, those who are sealed by his name in the sacrament of baptism become children of God, who, by the power of the Holy Spirit, are able to receive abundant blessings from God forever. And just as God promised Abraham and his descendants from many nations, that they would receive the land of Canaan as a possession forever. But now we have been promised a land that is much better than the land that is known as Canaan. Canaan is a part of this fallen and sinful world. So when God said that we would receive a possession, a possession of Canaan that would last forever, God was not referring to a plot of land in the Middle East. No, but he was talking about a land that would last forever. In other words, he promised us a place by his side in God's new creation. That is how the land of Canaan could last forever. It's not here on this fallen and sinful world. It's not a spot of the desert. No. Our promised land is a land that is in the new creation. Long ago, God's chosen people were reminded by the sign of circumcision that God was going to bless them as his children abundantly. And now the sign of our baptism reminds us of how we can be blessed forever with God in his eternal kingdom. So, how should we respond? Well, we should respond in the same way that God asked Abram to respond to him. He said, to live out your life trusting and believing and responding to God's blessings with faith so that we and the people around us can be blessed forever. May the Lord God who created us and has included us into his everlasting covenant through faith. Keep us and sustain us in the faith until we reach our promised land by his side in the new creation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.